welcome back to kt's discussion desk and this is medicine made easy the continuation of noise induced hearing loss so this video will be seeing about the prevention and what the government of india speaks about the noise induced hearing loss and this is part 2 park defines the noise as unwanted sound the better way that park again defines is the wrong sound in wrong place at the wrong time that is the human ears respond to the noise as only perceived intensities that means uh, it responds in non uniform way thereby this becomes a subjective effect to a human being having known this into consideration there is something called a curve a which is created to measure the sound pressure level and thereby we are measuring the sound in terms of the intensity of the sound in terms of decibels one thing to note here is there's something called speech intelligent intelligibility whenever a speech intelligibility is good that means you are hearing me well a missed some background noise it means my speech intelligibility is good it means what the uh, sound level or speech what uh, speech sound level of mine is 12 times more 12 decibels more than the speech interference level and that's it now let's move on to what government of india speaks about this noise induced hearing loss now according to the ministry of labor they say or they set the maximum safest limit auditory limit is 90 decibels for 8 hours per day for 5 days per week now they also say that there is no sound of more than 115 decibels and uh, no impulse noise of more than 140 decibels is permitted the no, ministry of environment and forest says it speaks basically about the noise permissible limits uh, we are now only going to speak about the silence zone or area which is given by noise pollution regulation and control rules 2000 basically it says a silent zone or area is where a 100 meters area in and around the educational institute hospital nursing home or court so in this area 50 decibel sound in the day time and 40 decibel sound in the night time is said to be or the criteria that satisfies the silence zone or a silence area the morning day time does mean 6 am morning to 10 pm night and 40 decibel night says 10 pm the night to 6 am in the morning now let's move on to how to control noise pollution basically noise pollution is because of this industries vehicles majority so how to control simple majority of industries are in cities so what we need to do is divide the cities into zones so that the living area uh, or the residential area for humans are actually separated from the area of noise pollution one now person who are working in the industries are to be given compensation by proper legislation factories act and so on next this industries are the one this is going to produce sound so what we need to do is we can do acoustic insulation of these buildings and as well we can improve the sound proofing of these buildings to reduce the noise pollution now as far as vehicles are concerned uh, we actually it is indiscriminate blowing a horn uh, in the road is actually prohibited so we can control the noise pollution by this way and apart from this person who is living in a home should be at least 15 meters away from the roads this is one thing and uh, there's a residential area should be separated from the noise producing area by a green belt at the most what is important is health education to the people about this so b- without the cooperation of the general public it is not possible to control any basis in the community so thank you so much for a patient listening i have also added the video link for part 1 in the description and if you like this video you can share to your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you and stay tuned